So hey everybody, it's Mickey. Today's video is going to be the first in a fall project create and decorate with me series. Have you ever been out in the world and you see something that you would really love to decorate your house with but it is way too expensive? In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to just make it for yourself with results that are even better than the inspiration. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. The project that we are going to be working on today is for this area of my dining room. This is where I have my little antique desk that I got for my birthday a couple months ago. And it is probably one of my most favorite pieces in my whole house. So I have it decorated for like early fall with a little cozy blanket and a pillow and a little glass pumpkin. But what I usually have in this space is this really cool chalk painted sign that says H is for home. I really love the style of this sign. I like the idea that, you know, because it's an old antique school desk, I like that this was done on a chalkboard. It has a little bit of an elementary feel to it. And I thought this would be the perfect type of sign to duplicate for Halloween, for fall, for Christmas. I found this sign online from a company called Tipsy Anvil Co. They did an absolutely beautiful job and I spent about $50 for this sign, which is a little bit expensive if you want to have a sign for all your different seasons and holidays. So I thought that is what we would try to duplicate ourselves today. I'm going to be using my all-time favorite craft tool for these projects, the Cricut Joy. A big thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Cricut has been my favorite partner in designing pieces throughout my home for holidays and seasons and special occasions. I can't tell you how quickly you can personalize just about anything to fit into your decor and your budget and to share with friends. The signs that we are going to be making today are going to be a little bit smaller than our inspiration piece. So I went into Michael's and Home Depot to see what I could find. At Michael's, I found a set of four wood nine by 12 panels, which would be the perfect size for our project today. I think I paid around $7.98 for the pack of four. Then my hubby went with me to Home Depot because I wanted to duplicate the trim that is on our inspiration piece on our smaller signs. We found this one by one square trim piece that I'm going to stain and my husband is going to make into frames for each of these pieces. So let me show you the paints that I have used for this project so far. So for my um, black chalk paint panel here, I am using some folk art home decor chalk paint um, in rich black. This is the color that I like to use for any type of black chalkboard background. This stuff is really great. It covers in just about like two coats and it's really easy to apply and it dries very quickly. Now for my Christmas one, which is this red right here, I always think that it is really difficult to choose a good red. Sometimes they're too bright, sometimes they're too blue. But this one here I think is really a perfect Christmas red and it is called Perennial Red, another folk art home decor chalk paint. Again, I like using these because they cover very easily in just a couple coats. And then for our fall panel, I've used uh, my favorite fall orange color, which is Apple Barrel Sweet Potato. I really love this color. I think that it has like just enough brown in it so that it, it can really blend in with just about you know, any pumpkin colors that you have in your decor. So for today's project, we are gonna be using the Cricut Joy. This has fast become my favorite Cricut cutting tool. This little guy is so small and portable, you can carry it around to almost any room in your house and you can carry it along with you to go to a friend's house to work on a project. We're going to be using some permanent Cricut Smart Vinyl in white. We'll be needing some Cricut transfer tape, and we'll also be needing a few Cricut tools to help us weed. 
So I signed into Cricut Design Space on my iPad and we are going to start designing our project. To do this design, we're going to head to Canvas and once we are there, we are going to search in the images. I am looking for that elementary school line that we all use to practice our letters way back when. And I found that if I search for two lane road, it's pretty much the same thing. Once I find what I'm looking for, I just click it and then add it to my canvas design space. Here is where you can enlarge it or reduce it depending on the dimensions of your project. Once I have it perfect, I just hit make it in the upper right hand corner and it sets you up to cut it out on your Cricut. The vinyl is cut and we remove it from our Cricut machine. Now we need to prepare it to be applied to our project. To do this, we just remove any excess vinyl, apply our transfer tape, remove the backing and apply it to our project. I always hold my breath just a little bit when I put down that first piece of vinyl. Once I'm sure that it is straight, I just lay it down, smooth it out and peel back the sheet. This sign is going to say F is for fall, so we need to go back to design space to design our letters. For this, I'm going to choose the font Aldean, decide on the size, and send it over to cut. I have made so many different things with my Cricut over the years, but I have to say my favorite thing to make are signs. I decorate with them throughout the year and having the ability to make signs myself saves me so much money. I'm able to design them exactly the way I want and personalize them if I need to. I really love the way this white vinyl looks against the pumpkin orange color. I just have a couple more things to cut out and this sign will be all done. I wanted to show you these awesome frames that my hubby made for our project today. If you guys remember, we stained um, these one by one square pieces of trim. He took those and he built me three frames. And as you can see, there's like this little square piece right here. And that is where our panel will rest. So I can just pop that in there. The best thing about these frames is that I can easily pop my panel out, I can flip it over, and I can do a whole nother design on this that'll fit right into that frame so that I can do reversible signs so I can make one of these for every holiday. I wanted to share the other signs that I made today. I made all three of them just a little bit different, just so you can get an idea of some of the things that you can make for yourself. My Halloween sign is on black chalkboard and I have a really cute little ghost with just the word ghost at the bottom. I think it's gonna be perfect to stick pretty much anywhere in the house during Halloween. And this would be a sign that would be really easy to duplicate like for, you know, you could put a shamrock there for St. Patty's Day or a heart there with the word love underneath for Valentine's Day. I really love the Santa sign because it is so simple. I just have the uppercase and lowercase s's there and Santa spelled out nice and big. And again, this is a sign that can probably go anywhere in the house during the holiday season. And I really love the idea that I can pop these out, turn them around and make another new sign on the back. So what do you guys think? I just love the way this sign looks here on my little antique desk. I have a school theme going on in the dining room pretty much all year long and I could not have found a better sign and what makes it even better is that we made it ourselves. I love the frame that my husband made. I think that it is perfect. I love the color of the orange. I think that it is just the right touch of autumn in this space. A 
A big thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's project. I hope you enjoyed this first Create and Decorate With Me video. The next one up in this series is going to be an unbelievable pottery barn dupe that you can make yourself. Please check the description box down below for any items mentioned in today's video and join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm entering into my fall content, which is my absolute favorite of the year, and you really don't want to miss a thing. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. I was making my way across town, trying to get to you. I've been keeping my phone sound facing you out that's true now i get butterflies just thinking about your eyes and that can't be all bad things came up things went down maybe turn back around my spot is saying screaming that i'm mad I can't see how bad it rhymes playing 